The Bay Area's rock station. 1077 The Bone. Phil from All That Remains. How you doing? Phil! How you doing? Second day of Rockstar. I'm good. I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. But it's the second day, so nobody really has the excuse of we've been out for how long. No, the only excuse you can have is, well, we, we were so excited about Rockstar starting that, uh, you know. Couldn't that, sleep at all last night. Well, you know, just partied a little too hard and had a little too much fun on the first day. You kind of got to ease yourself into the good times. Oh, these, see, I was going with the Christmas morning vibe, and you're going with the yeah, I've been up all night, drunk and wasted. <laughs> yeah, kind of more, more like burying that. Burying the hooker kind of thing. Uh, that's a lot of work. That's what we have text for. Do you text bury hookers for you? Uh, I, I, they've never had to, but I do believe that... Uh, They'll ask for more for PDs if you do. The, I do believe that for the right price, they would. Yes. You got a good crew. Don't lose those guys. They're very, very, very good dudes. Very good dudes. So last time I saw you guys was at the Golden Gods in L.A. Oh, okay, cool. How awesome. much fun was that? It was really fun. It was cool. The, uh, the, it was a little nerve-wracking. I mean, right before we played, the power went out to the, to the front of the house. So it was like half an hour of us, our gears all set up. They're, you know, ready to go, and we're waiting for the power to go back on. Before the power went out, like, as they were rolling our guitar players' gear on stage, like, they knocked the cables off the top. So it's turned like a big rat's nest behind the thing, and they're trying to figure it out. So it Was, was it the Golden God Ghost? I mean, I didn't know that there was a ghost. There could be. There, there could be. I mean, the Nokia Theater is a, a little new a fairly new complex to have a lot of spooky old history. That doesn't mean there's not a body buried in the cement, <laughs> Phil. I, uh, well, I guess so. I guess so. But uh, I'm not going to go look for it. And I'm not even sure that I really believe in ghosts because that takes a little more energy than I want to expend. I've been trying to pitch like the Metal Scooby-Doo episode to everybody today. and Who, Who's going to be Scooby? This would be perfect. Who's going to be Scooby? Uh, somebody's got a good beast, right? Behemoth would be Scooby. <laughs> Behemoth is, is Scooby. Because that would be a beast, right? They're already halfway in costume. I didn't know that Scooby was Polish. Manson would be Shaggy. Manson would be Shaggy. Wouldn't Manson do a great Shaggy? Yeah, I think if, if you, well, if you exchange the white stuff for the green stuff, I think Brian would make a sweet sh uh, Shaggy. I think you're right. <laughs> I don't think he makes a secret out of that either. No, no. He, Straws in the dressing room. We saw him in, uh, in I think it was in Sweden at Metal Town. We, played, we just played the festivals in Europe. And, uh, you know, he was out there talking about doing drugs and stuff. And, you know, I was like, wow, Brian does drugs? Weird. It wasn't I don't think it's a secret. I think people just don't understand how much a part of a, his daily life it is. I think they think it's a big show, but it's not. It's like, it's like a lifestyle. I would love to see exactly how much blow he does in like a day. No, I want to see how his accountant writes it off. <laughs> I, you know, I was uh, Mike got the Nikki Six books, the the heroin diaries. Uh -huh. I guess Nikki Six's uh, accountant went to his house and he like he was like, "You're spending this much money a day on coke and heroin, times seven days in a week, times this many weeks in a year, and exactly eleven and a half months you're going to be broke if you keep doing heroin like this." And he took, put it, he wrote it on a note and left it on his door. Because <laughs> Nikki wouldn't come out because he was freaking out. He's too busy hiding in the closet. If only Lane Staley had had Nikki Six's accountant. Yeah, you know, maybe. May, very, very possibly. But then again, you know, Nikki did die twice. Lane just couldn't hack it. I think it's given him a god complex. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I hear he's like really chilled out and cool now. I don't know. He seems to be. I think, I think he's letting Kat Von D do all the crazy stuff. All right, all right. I think he's just being crazy vicariously. She, she kind of looks like him. I bet they share shoes. Or they did. Maybe not now. No, she's tiny. Oh, is she really little? Yeah. I'm, I've never seen her in person. She's very petite. It's the shoes that throw you off because she wears really high heels. Yeah, probably. I can, I can see that. I can, I can understand that. So I was thinking we should talk about your band for a minute. All right, I guess. I mean, unless you want to just gossip. We can talk shit Perez Hilton. He's a stupid idiot. Are you kidding me? He's, he's a legitimate news source now. He broke the Michael Jackson story before CNN. <laughs> There's nothing legitimate about Perez Hilton at all. <laughs> dude, gets, dude gets hit by someone, so instead of calling the cops, he tweets, call the cops for me. Give me a f***ing break. So you're not into social networking? No, totally am. I just, I'm, I'm into, like, people being halfway intelligent. I'm not even talking about, like, fully, like, smart guy. Just like, yo, if someone's punching you and you want it to stop, don't tweet it. Call the police. 
Yeah, but you know what? He lives in Hollywood. How many people do you think will respond faster to his tweet versus how many people will respond at 911? I don't know. He was in Toronto when it happened, but... Oh, oh, in Canada, that's totally different. Yeah, so... I mean, maybe there is no 911 in Canada. Maybe it's a different number. There's no 911 in, L in L.A. I mean, say, it's, it's... How funny. do you say 911 in French? Do you know? Uh, no, uh, uh. Is it no, uh, uh? Like that's, you gotta dial it, like... But I have the worst French accent on the planet, as there are people who will attest. I don't like, I don't speak French at all, so... I don't either. I just learned enough. Just, just enough to call 911? Yeah, but then it turns out it doesn't work over there. Yeah, then, well, then there's no point. Kind of hosed. Yeah, you're screwed. So now that we have 30 seconds left, can you give me a synopsis of All That Remains, uh, what you're going to be doing on the Rockstar Energy Mayhem Tour and your future plans? All That Remains is a metal band from Massachusetts. We'll be playing shows about 30 minutes long in the Rockstar uh, Mayhem Tour, and we'll be touring all fall in the U.S. With? Uh, I can't say yet. Can you give me a hint? Uh, no. You just gossiped about God and everybody. And now you're like, oh, but I can't tell you who we're going on tour with. Yeah, because this sh** concerns me. All that other stuff is just me running my f mouth. You're afraid I'll tweet it? No. Okay, well, give me, um, give me like a genre. Uh, rock, a couple rock radio bands we're going to be touring with, which oh, is yeah? which is different for us. Yeah, we're uh, normally we go out with like you know stuff, bands like like bands that would be on the the Mayhem Fest, and uh, this time it's going to be uh, some bands that get played on on. You know, active rock radio because we've got now we have a couple songs that are on active rock, so which is really great. I mean, it's it's cool to have a song on the radio that people care about, and well, it's it's cool to have one. It's real cool to have two. Um, so you know, you know, it's really awesome. But one, and you're out of debt. Two, you get to buy a house. Uh, no, no, no. I think I think two, you might get out of debt, and then the next record, hopefully, if you do two more, then you'll start making a little money. I bought a car. Nice. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what kind of car? A BMW. Really? Yeah, three series. You're not doing too bad. No, well, I mean, I paid for it, but, but like that was it was like we si re-signed with our uh, our label, and they were like, okay, we'll give you this much money, and so we didn't make tons of money. I still live. And you money. blew it on a Beamer? I didn't blow it, but yeah, I spent it on a Beamer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's sweet. It's got a GPS system in it, and everything. It's awesome. <laughs> nice stereo. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's not a, not a, not extravagant. It's a, no. it's a two a two door. It's a three series. It's very practical. Well, I wouldn't say it's if it was if I was going for practical, I would have got a Prius or a Civic. It's true. But no, I have a Civic. So you got heated leather seats. And a Camaro. You have a Camaro too. What year? Ninety two. I had an like an eighty six Camaro. That was my first car. Uh, it was made of Bondo. Yeah. Oh. Pretty much. It wasn't the Berlinetta, was it? No, God no. <laughs> No. That would have been embarrassing. No, it had like it had, it, it, it had a it was a six cylinder. It was terrible. I got the six too. I don't yeah. think there's anything wrong with that. No, well, I mean, if you're gonna get a Camaro. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're gonna fill up the gas tank, Point. and I commute. Yeah, well. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wanna wouldn't wanna have an eight cylinder and commute. No. So do you have a, an approximation of when you're going to be back in San Francisco with this mystery tour? In the fall. Uh, November-ish. Yeah, it starts in September, so... Yeah, well, it starts in September and ends in November. It's a long tour. So uh, maybe, maybe maybe October. Awesome. We'll Actually, see you again soon. Yeah, October. Cause we start in the Northeast, and we're going to go around and come back to the Northeast because that's where we're from. So You'll come by and visit, bring the rest of the band? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, uh, you mean the rest of our band? Or, uh, or just it. whatever band you got on hand because I can't make any promises about getting those dudes to come out and do this stuff at all really yeah why not because uh because they complain about it and I don't want to listen to them complain really yeah. well yeah our drummer's the worst why just because he doesn't like talking to people he feels awkward and weird so so we should kind of ambush him huh maybe that'd be awesome we'll see if we can get him later all right that'll be fun 107 7 the bone Streaming online at 1077thebone.com.